Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Chaos, and I'm playing Telltale Games The Walking Dead. It's a episodic story based like on the comics by Robert Kirkman. I've seen a little bit of the first chapter, and it seems pretty cool. And let's see, um, I'm going to go ahead and go on standard UI, just because I'm kind of lazy. So, go here. All right, and wow, FPS drop on the loading screen. That's weird. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Awesome. And turn my headset down a little bit. Make sure my mic isn't muted. Episode 1, A New Day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. <laughs> Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And... Every time? Every time. Driven, okay. and look at the rearview mirror. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> he picked up on that. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh. <laughs> Riot in progress. All officers are available for a summit two one seven. Rolling calls and dispatch to all locations. I wish I knew anything about police radio lingo. I'm mentioning obviously there's an outbreak or something happening. Somebody's doing some crazy shit. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. <laughs> then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What's out? This other time... Oh, shit! Look 
that shotgun. Defying gravity to the end. <laughs> oh, man. to drag myself out that window. Oh, man, that's gonna suck. He's just not having a good day. Although I can say the cop had a worse one. Oh, shit. Man, I could have done a better job than that with a shim. Come on. That was pathetic. <gasps> Look at him. It's like he already knows some shit's, like, fucked up. like your border crossing. <clears throat> and you're a dirty face Oh, did I, did I go there? 
Hello, anybody? Okay, invisible wall keeping me from going in the pool. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> oh, nice. no matter. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Anybody's home. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Yeah, that's gonna work. Open sliding glass door. Come on, pansying around. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? If only every burglar said that as he walked into a building. Yo, don't worry about it. I'm just coming in. Don't worry about shooting. Ah. You'll be fine. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Things burglar or him. These people might need more help than I do. My little pony. Overturned blood everywhere. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Three tell you myself. Message one left at 543 PM. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, really? finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. We love you. Damn. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. So one of the things about the dialogue, the reason I'm not taking time to read it is you have a limited amount of time to say something. So. Well, what's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Please don't go. How old are you? Eight. 
And you're oh. all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Slip in the blood again, like an idiot. And fall again. Get out of here, woman. Kick her! Punch her! God, you are a man. Act like one. Yo, dude. I think she's dead. <laughs> oh, man. 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 Hi there. This guy's favorite word. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. I chose the safety of daylight. Let's All go. Alright guys, stay close Let's to cut me. right here. <laughs>